Brandon became a part of our family after the state had uh, taken him from his mother. We had no intention to start raising children over again, but if it came to it again, I'd do it all over again. About four years ago, Brandon was needed a, a tutor to help him with his grades in school. And I was looking for someone, and I mentioned it to one of our church members, and she said, take him to the, to the lighthouse. I said, lighthouse? Where is the lighthouse? And she told me where the lighthouse was. But after we, he started going to the lighthouse, uh, he got to being able to mingle with the other children in the afternoon, and from there he began to come alive. Through the lighthouse, he got this good mentor that takes real good care of him. His grandfather, Mr. Arthur Brooks, is tremendous, um, very consistent with him. And basically, I saw my role as just supporting Mr. Arthur Brooks. I can just see him heading in the right direction. That was my whole goal, to help somebody. And then the lighthouse has been great for him, uh, getting the homework done. His, his grandpa has two jobs, so it's nice to have his homework done when he gets home. And, but his grandpa always follows up on his homework. Um, when I first met him, he, he had a little problems reading. Uh, reading was very difficult, some things, and uh, he's just gotten a lot better. Hey, Mr. Archer, he, he includes Brandon in just about everything. He take him to the library, they go out to eat, they have ice cream, they go bowling, they go to basketball games. He loved to go out with Mr. Archer and come back and tell me how he whooped Mr. Archer in basketball. And that's what we teach him. Whatever you do, do it your best. Brandon is, um, he's getting more and more confident. I mean, he's really heading in the right direction. And it's, it's been, been cool to see it. And that's what I get at. I mean, seeing him uh, develop and kind of grow up has been really good. I recommend the lighthouse to anybody. I really would. I was unhappy, I guess, just because of the things that were happening to me and I didn't really understand what was going on and why it was happening. I didn't know how to deal with it. She was 10. She was sexually assaulted at that age. Um, then she started, her behavior kind of started turning for the worse. She was in magnet school at the time. She lost focus um, with her grades. She didn't want to have too many friends. She had to grow up really fast. And because of that, I think she was taking on adult problems and concerns that she wasn't capable of handling. She started to run away. It's like the worst nightmare. Um, the one time that she ran away and was gone overnight, it's like you're trying to sleep and you can't sleep because you don't know if your child is okay. You don't know if your child has been hurt. I was out all night kind of riding with the other kids in the car um, looking for. It was just, it was not good, it was horrible. We can take families and help them in many different facets where other programs aren't able to do that. Kiara's made a lot of progress. When I started uh, working with her, there was a definite um, disconnect in communication between her. She had really shut down. And I think she's learned to kind of let that go and be a kid. When I talk to her, I feel better. Sometimes I feel sad. It depends on what we're talking about, but um, at the end of the day, I feel like she really, she has made a big change in this family. Like with the relationship between me and my mom, it's gotten better. The relationship with me and my sisters and brother has gotten better. 
I feel like I'm in a good place, but I can be in a better place. And I'm the only one that could change that. Mom's grown a lot. She's learning to communicate a little bit better. Now we joke around a lot. Like we haven't, we didn't used to do that. As a family, we sit and we laugh and we talk. All the kids love Miss Laura. So it's like a family thing that the Lighthouse does with my kids. We're in a very good place right now. I'm sitting right behind the driver. The speed he was driving, I was like, look, man, you need to slow down. You're going to kill us. The car flipped anywhere between four to seven times. They found the guy that was sitting next to me 30 feet away. DOA, dead on arrival. They kept looking, and they found me 50 feet away. The first time I came to was months after. I have gone from being completely paralyzed on my left side, bedridden for seven months, wasn't able to talk. For someone in my condition, one begins to feel that maybe their life is over. Maybe, maybe, maybe a chance to live a, a normal life is impossible. But then God got me here and, and, and I was able to come and live in this. Wow, I'm, 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 it's a blessing, it's a tremendous blessing. Your disability, it doesn't have to limit you. That you can live with your disability and, and have a um, productive life. You know, everyone wants to live their life out in their own home. Anything I had a difficulty with, I could come right in there if she was in the office, say, Miss Paula, I don't understand this. It doesn't make any sense. She's a godsend. She works from her heart to help. Not just me, any of the residents that are here. He, he is just been a joy to work with because he never let things get him down. Uh, he's always striving uh, to be better. Being with friends and, and, and out in the community, it's therapeutic. You don't even, all, all the problems and issues, man, we're trying to, we're having a blast. We're trying to, we're balling. We're, we're, we're having a great time with each other. I mean, it's, it's another chance at life. It's, it's, it's truly, it's a gift from God, it truly is.